everybody, good evening. My name is Alan. On behalf of the crew, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. You know, in the newspapers this week, there was a bunch of articles that the six billionth person has been born on the planet Earth. So we now have six billion living human beings on the planet Earth. Now that, in a way, it's an enormous figure. I, you know, what compared to the size of the Earth, is that enormous? Is it a lot? Is it a little? And in a way, that's not the real important issue. The important issue is when are we going to learn to get along? When are we going to learn to experience the sameness about us, the truth about ourselves, instead of seeing all the, the things that are different about us? I mean, obviously, it's easy to see that this one's older, younger, a uh, uh, different color hair, different religion, different uh, sexual preference, all the differences. We can see different countries, different cities, rooting for different ball teams, whatever. I mean, it can go to any level. But there is one truth, there is one experience in which we can have that we're all real brothers and sisters here, that we're all from that same essence, from that same essence, that when a human being feels like it, it feels like love. And it's just so much time, and we've talked about it so much on Bridging Heaven and Earth, and it's just coming up so, so, so much more on the planet Earth now. It's just time for us to come together as, as fellow inhabitants of this planet, as brothers and sisters on this planet, to recognize the oneness, to, to dedicate our lives to the experience of that love and that dedication. And tonight we have someone with us who's has an extraordinary story, a, a story of perseverance, a story of dedication, a story of the will to make that experience available to herself and to everyone she comes in, in contact with. Uh, Taeyoon Kim is a world-renowned spiritual teacher. She's the first female grandmaster in the uh, martial arts of Taekwondo. She's the author of several books, including The First Element. She's the creator of numerous audio and videotapes, including Key Rhythms. She owns one of the largest wellness centers or dojos in the United States, as far as I know. Uh, uh, she's a uh, founder of a of an offshoot of a of a martial arts that's uh, is a practice of unifying the mind, body, and spirit for total harmony. And she has an extraordinary story of starting in a way that you wouldn't think that this person could achieve what she's achieved, and that her her soul. When I watched these videos and I read the, the literature about her, the thing that really struck me is what her life is about and what she tries to teach in all the ways she does it, in all the mediums of TV, radio, uh, books and videos, is that self-empowerment, that recognition of that love within. And we have some extraordinary videos of her tonight, and she's with us on the set. So please join me in a short meditation, and then we're going to have a, a, just a wonderful show. So please, just settle in with me. If you know how to do a meditation technique, do it. If not, just follow your breath for a few minutes. Or just relax. Let whatever worries you had today fade into just fade away and come with us now, come with Taeyoon and, and I on a journey into self-empowerment, okay? Please join me in a short meditation. All right, we're going to start tonight's show with uh, a video of, of Taeyoon Kim. Uh, this is an opening to her TV show that's shown just all over the world. It's an extraordinary show about empowerment, about love. And this is a little like history of her and her experience living on this planet and growing into the person she's grown into. So whenever we're ready. Korea is being overrun by the communists. A five-year-old little girl is running with her friend, running hard. Shells are exploding everywhere. Another explosion. She sees her friend die before her eyes. In her mind, in her spirit, a singular thought forms. I am not going to run anymore. This is the beginning of a vision, a dream deep in her heart a desire to overcome madness and fear with strength, to somehow 
find that strength within herself. Two years later, on a gray dawn morning in Tincham province, the vision within her heart starts to take form. With wondrous eyes, she discovers her uncles practicing Taekwondo in the morning mist. And in that special moment, she realizes what she will do. She will become a female martial artist. She will become a grandmaster. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank it's you for having me. It's great to have you here. It's really great. great. <laughs> so, why don't you tell everybody about? Do you remember back when you were a little girl when that film started, and you remembered that desire? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, it's, first of all, you have to understand, Alan. Our culture is that five thousand years passing on, saying that women you're supposed to belong to how to learn how to cook and so. And they work on your husband, and you produce 12 sons, you know? It's That's just, it. That's your that, job, you know, yeah. and nothing else. Nothing else. But also, I was the firstborn. The firstborn is considered as a bad luck. If it's a female. Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> yes, so, you, so you were screwed every which way. Right? <laughs> yes. right. You know, I live during this study. Uh, you know, I was born in 1946. And uh, there's a Lunar New Year's, like a Chinese New Year's. And there's a, we pay to respect to the, your ancestor, right? So everybody prepared the best food. You pray for ancestor. Please bless our farmland, so on, so on, right? And here's my mother said, oh my God, I'm going to have a baby. So my grandfather say, hold on, everybody. Your grandson is coming. And he's going to rule this country. Oh my God! <laughs> yes. And, and out you come. <laughs> my, my grandmother, she received me. She said, "Oh my goodness, Kim's family being cursed. You know why? Because I didn't have a hot pepper. You know what that means? So yeah, you right. have a hot pepper, I don't. No, I got, <laughs> I, I got your meeting. We are a family show, right. but we got your meeting. Yes. So, and uh, my grandmother said, woman, tell me what size hot pepper my grandson <laughs> They're checking the size at that age. I'm size oh, for me is yes, brutal over Yes, there. absolutely. Then uh, my grandfather, as soon as he find out that I was a girl, he no ran to the... Pepper, no too. hot pepper. No hot pepper. He ran to the ancestor. He said, what I have done, this curse. Really? So he's calling me wow. the curse. That's a good way life. to start. Be kidding me. <laughs> it was no, that was just very painful. Wow. Uh, what happened? So, I mean, did they treat you like, I mean, from the time you can remember, like, here's our oh, daughter, yes. the curse? No, I think they, they treat the dog and the cats better than I. My mother said, stay, curse, stay away from it. You go to the back. Don't show your face to everybody. 
That's how it was. You know, just like, they, I mean, literally. You know, I mean, I mean, I read a lot of the literature about you, but I yeah. never got the real feel. It's a really true. It's, it's a true. Really yeah. true. And so how did you, you know break what, out of it? You know what? The thing is, that, Alan, I did not know what they're talking about. I didn't know what was no, the difference between you? a boy and a girl. Right, right, I don't right. understand that. Right. But I think the worst thing that happened when I was a five years old, we have a Korean War. And I'm broken that up. was no good for anybody. Well, you know what? That time, it's not only I. I think that we have the village, the whole busy, and the population only about 300 people. So I think most of them, they don't want the girl to be participating in a, because it's taking extra mouth, you know, feeding. Right, right. So they abandoned me. And uh, they you know, just took up, you know, bomb is dropping. And I just cry wow. like a crazy. This I got a lot of five. This is I'm only five, yeah. and I didn't understand. And so your whole family's heading off somewhere Yeah, else. they're just gone, gone without me. They just left me behind. And I said, ah! You know, I didn't know. I, said, I was so scared. Right. I was scared. I was just screaming at it. Then this next neighbor guy, I think I was so loud. My God, I had a voice. Mm -hmm. And even like a small one, you know, I had wow. a voice. And he said, girl, quit. And he took me. And that's why, you know, we were just, I was just going running with everybody else. And prison, I couldn't run anymore. I was just so tired and scared. I didn't know what was going on. So I remember I just stood there. I was looking at the sky. And I said, hey, I'm only five years old. Hey, what are you trying to do? Yeah, what kind of karma is yes, this? I have no <laughs> idea. That is what, that time actually is a magic happened. To anybody else, nothing. To me, it was a magic because when, even until then, only the voice I heard my mother say, eat food, stay away from it, you know, nothing else. But I got this incredible sweet voice came and said, hey, you know what, if you stay here, you die. Come with me, I race with you. And I look up, there's a girl, and older than me. I was just so happy, someone talking to me. I was just like... Like I mean, a human being. Yes, rather, I yeah, mean, right. I, was just, I, I mean, I didn't know what they mean, I just know the warm feeling. Right. I said, okay, I race with you, and then we will start running. And because she ran past to me, she wanted me to catch her up, and but I was in the behind. But then something happened in crowd, everything go, boom! Everything so shattered, and like the sound is just everywhere, and it's just like my body just flew away, and I didn't know what happened. And then when I come to my sense, the first thing it came to my mind, I want to find her. I was looking for her. And uh, I, new friend. Yeah, my new friend, friend. Only friends, only right? Friend now, right? So when I look at her, and there is she, arms, other place, bleeding. Wow. And there's nothing there. I can still even feel that one. I saw, I said, come on, you know, you gotta talk to me. There's nothing there. Then I knew what is really, I didn't understand what it mean death, but I knew she's dead. Right. So that moment, it changed my life completely. And I said to myself, I'm not going to run anymore. And I'm going to change. And I said to myself also, I'm not going to complain. And before, I feel very lonely, so sad why my family treated me this way. But then I look at her, and I feel I am a whole lot better than right. and where she was. Right. So that is really changing my life. And after that, I said, OK, it is my choice what I would do in my life. And I said, this is of my life, and I'm going to be the driver, and I'm going to be the, you know, the ownership in my life. Yeah, and the that was empowerment. It. Yes. Yeah, right. that's, so, so, I mean, that feeling of, like, empowering yourself and empowering others is, was, like, so root in you. Oh, so, yeah, it's just so deep. So deep. Deeply. You know, I mean, that was the sense I got when I watched the videos, yes. that that's what you yes. want for people, that yes, they yeah. feel that empowerment. Oh, anybody tell me, impossible, you can't do that, guess what? I'm rolling my You're sleeve. Right. You think yeah. so? Okay, right. let's go for it. I mean, anybody say, oh, yes, this can be done, then I lose my interest. Whenever they say, that's impossible. Then I just diving in like a crazy. Wow. It has to so, be. Yeah. So, okay, so now you're five years old. You, you know what death is. You know yeah. that this is, you know, that you're going to. Mm -hmm. So, and then did you meet like a, a master? Was it an uncle well, of you yours? Well, what happened after the war over, my family, you know, of course, we connected together. They put me in a grandparent's house. And my father was a school teacher. And my father, like, he's a school principal. In that time, my country, when if you had a school teacher, very high position. And um, of course, he was very unhappy because I'm not boy. 
You know, if I give the first son, he will be incredibly happy because I'm a scholar and he drinking a lot. He used to beat the hell out of me. I tell wow. you, I thought I was a drum or something. He just kicking me, punching me, really? beating me. Oh, you know, my mother, wow. my mother put me in a, ro a room, <laughs> locked me in. She used to cut my hair off like a crazy. Really? Uh, but then I have eight anchors, wow. eight anchors training, all martial art. So like the first thing in the morning and before the dawn, and before I, they could get up to beat you. Yeah. So you have <laughs> got to sneak out. Yes. <laughs> before the dawn, there was a naked chest, and they all ate. I'm going, <laughs> They train like this way. And we have a rice paper door. And I make a little hole, and I pick it through. And wow. Say, wow. That's what I want to learn. I fear somehow that a control of your body and your mind and your just energy, it just like, it just captured my soul. You know, right. that was that. And wow. they say, what? You girl. Yeah, right. You dog, you girl. You, you can't do ask. that. Right. You know, they're all picking on me. But I was, I think one thing that I, and I really want to tell everyone, there's something if you really want, no matter anybody disprove of, if it belongs to you, you know, in your heart, don't give up. I think that's what I did. Right. That every single person, I look at every corner, they all disprove of it. You can't do that. But my heart, which is absolutely, I'm not going to give up. So what happened when I turned to 80 years old, right? So then my uncle, one uncle started teaching me. And he thought, well, as soon as I get a black and bruise and right. I was giving up. Right. Well, he made a big mistake. Exactly. I'm still sitting right here with right. you, yes. Right. Yeah. So, so then, I mean, from that day on, then you were just training that's it. That and was training the, yeah. and training. That day on, actually, when I turned to eight, um, my grandfather was really want to just kind of marry her, marry me off. That time is, you know, all the matchmaker, you know, the choice right. is that, you know, grandfather, my mother, father, you know, picking on it. When I had eight years old, they tried to fix me when I turned 14, 15, marry me away. And every time the matchmaker come, my grandfather had a voice change. He said, Kayona, you know, kind of like a very, you know, it's just resonating sound saying serve the tea so they want to see how i walk how i serve the tea right. checking my feminism right they didn't want to see how you did taekwondo oh yeah you that know like exactly tomboy you know, right. don't want to right. don't want to let's see if she can beat this yeah. guy up this yeah the right. yeah, funny thing is right. that when that happened i always knew i think i was much more smarter than anybody them, you know, my grandfather included. So I boil hot water, as hot as I can be, and the ginseng tea, whatever it is. And when I serve, I go very feminine and nicely. But you pour it in your Absolutely, that's what I do. <laughs> that's, you know, the matchmaker. Yeah, then a matchmaker is like furious this... upset. Right. He say, you know. He burned my love. Yeah, absolutely. I don't care how much money you give to me. I'm never going to find your granddaughter and the husband. And she's upset. My grandfather very upset. Me, I go, yeah. Yeah, but, but you have to act like you said, right? <laughs> no, I kind of mean to act uh, like, you know, I don't care, right. you know. So, I mean, when did you finally leave the, like, that whole culture? Well, that, that moment, actually, that happened, my, that's my master. My grandfather consulted with my master. He's, uh, you know, Buddha monks, very mm. high, and a priest. So he said, what am I going to do? My granddaughter, you know, nobody going to marry her. Her life is doomed. You know, I can't die like this way. So my master and saw me and I'm playing the ground and said, come little girl, come, you know, see me. So I said, oh, oh, you know, I said, I'm in the trouble. So, but I walked to see me. See, my culture is Alan. We were not supposed to staring at the eye contact. Right, right. You're supposed to looking down. Yeah, right. You know, that if you do this, that's a very, you know, right. forbidden to girls, right. especially looking at So I'm looking down and my master go like this way and right. he said, look at me. I said, my God, how can I look at right. it? And, you know, Someone's going to cut my head off if I do <laughs> I know, he said, what do you want? He asked me, what do you want out of your life? And that moment... So this person was beyond the culture. Oh, I mean, yeah, he, he was like... He's really, like 20, 30 years ahead of right, it. He right, was, you know, right. he's, he was just a he's like, he's a citizen of heaven. Right, he's right, not exactly, even, you know, exactly, in other right. Korean or you know, right, American. Yeah. All he's the heaven. separation, he's high, right. Global picture they have. So right. what do you want? I say, teacher. I want to become a teacher. Teacher? What the possible you think you can teach? <laughs> right, right. And I say, you know, I don't know, life. I want to teach the life. And, and, and you were like 14 at this point? Yes. 14. No, no, no. I was eight. Eight? I was oh, eight this was eight. eight. Oh, eight. I see. Yeah. yeah. When I become first black, that I was 14. Oh, yes. I see. So I said, teacher, what well, Patrick said, I said, I don't know. I want to teach the life. So that's why he made a decision in that moment. Oh, this girl is not ordinary girl, even right. if she don't have a hot pepper. Right, right. This girl <laughs> so, 
<laughs> right. She's a hot tamale. Yeah, she right. knows how. Yes. Okay. So he said, "I start teaching you." So what happened? So Not he was a, a, a master in Taekwondo also. No, he was actually master of the key energy, oh, the key internal energy. power. Right, yes. Yeah, right. Taekwondo was the, you know, my uncle. The man of. Yes. Yeah, the physical. They're all together. Right. Yes. But so he, uh, that's where he made a decision to teach me. So he broke 5,000 year tradition, I broke wow. 5,000 years. We joined together and that was that. That's wow. sense of rolling. So when I come to America first time, believe it or not, Alan, I didn't know how to speak English. I did a janitor work. Yeah, I, I, I read that. Yeah, and, and that's when you started your programs in like yes, a garage, yes, right? Yes, yeah, garage. I started garage. Yeah. Everybody come, they're all living. You say, you are a great teacher. If you say it can be done, how come you start teaching in a garage? <laughs> right. I mean, I didn't understand what they're talking about. It made sense to me. So I said to myself, well, looks like I have to be a living example first. Right. So I work hard and I clean the toilet and I sing it long. You know why? Because I know I'm not going to be there forever. I just know. That's how I started. Wow. <laughs> So, you know, maybe what we'll do is show the video clip and we'll discuss it after sure. about you with mm. the, the, you know, the working the, the chi, mm -hmm. you know, with the, the eggs and the... Uh, so we're going to do a video. This is a video by uh, Taeyun Kim. And it's a, let it speak for itself and then we'll talk about it when we get back. So just watch this video. It's really extraordinary. better near. Next time when you come, I will do this. I'll bring up the watermelon, please. Watermelon, thank you. Somebody ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, now I'll just pick it up. Back on the set with Tayun. So, why don't you describe how you're controlling your okay. your energy? Well, first part about what you saw is the raw eggs, and everybody right. thinking a fake egg, you know, it's boiled. Like I won't do that. It's, a, oh, it's, it's really raw egg. It's so they're not hard boiled. <laughs> no. All our audience is in Brooklyn, the cynical bunch. The like, ah, she's standing on hard boiled egg. No, it's a wreck. And this is what you know, one of part of a demonstration is that showing the internal power. Once you, you know, like when you're meditating, the bring your body, mind, and spirit all together. We have a most incredible energy flow in it within our body. River is flowing, and then what do you do? You really contain that energy, bring the one spot. So you can stand on an egg and without crushing on it, or I can walk on a papers and I do many things. But 
The point is that it's you not. You can walk on the rice paper. Like, yes. Like, like Clyde Chang Kane. Well, he's he's walking on the rice paper in the ground. Well, I can walk on one in the air. Really? That's the difference. Yeah. Wow. The, you got to come back, and we're going to set this up in the air. No, is... I think it's important is that that each of us we contain the beauty, that power. I think that's what I want you to know that you use that in your daily life. The ability to you can bring your body, right hand symbolizes your body, your left hand symbolizes your mind, you bring together in a spirit and join together. And that's what in, in the, the harmony and the harmony. Unit. Absolutely, yeah, right. because uh, it's almost like this way. When you see it, it's when everything's a clear day, when you look at the palm, it's like everything's set down. And from the moonlight and, and the star and the reflecting, when you look into the palm, you can't even really tear because the moon is coming from like under because everything's all joined together. It's kind of that stage where we bring your body, mind, and spirit. The second, it is a huge, big bed and there's thousands of nails out there. As you can see, like 330 pound guys are stepping on the water in my leg. That's the reason I do demonstration that one. So, so many of us, we are unknown. We're very a uh, fear of that. I just want you to know that we all possess that key energy, internal power. Everybody said, well, what does that mean? How did you know? For example, somebody said, oh, God, I'm sick. I can't really walk. I can't even move. If somebody said, fire, there's a fire, I get, I guarantee everybody goes 10,000 times the speed, you know, you can run faster. It's kind of that energy, hidden energy, you bring that up. So I lie in a bed in there, and a five is in the black, huge sledgehammer going down. But again, it really controlling your body and your mind and through, so without punctuating yourself, the you kidney will rise up. And that's, you know, kind of neuro demonstration, which I don't like to do it, but no, it's, I do. No, it's, it. it's just to make a point of what yes, our yes. capacity is. Yes. It's not like, you know, being a show-off. It's yes. just to yeah, show yeah, that yeah. people have yes, the capacity yeah. right. to do that. You can do that. You know, we, all of us, we have a capacity to act, capability to perform and produce, and it is your personal choice. If you look at it, I mean, I'm just in a 4 foot 11, you know, it's right. kind of 95 pounds, you know, whatever. And I'm not that big of myself, but you or any football player, just one finger, I can knock you down instantly. Good to know. <laughs> I know but if I scared. ask the wrong question, I could be no, finished. You feel so safe. No, <laughs> no, no, no I, uh, the reason I'm saying that today so many people is struggling. Uh, there are so many balance going on, the uncertainty, not knowing who am I what's going on, teenagers, and everywhere. So I really want to contribute to bring moral harmony and taking charge. And it's life is, it's, it's, you are the really, the, the ownership. And this is your life. You are the one of a kind. Let's say, be an original, don't be a copy. And that's what my first element, my book, is really written all about, really showing that. Uh, different body. We have a physical body, we have an emotional body, we have a mental body, we have a spiritual body. Then, you know, we have all different separate the body, and we do not know. Sometimes like, people can sit some one place, their mind go vacation in China, that one go any good, right? You have to be able to bring and always yeah, together. Yeah, be in the moment, be alive, that's yes, where you live. Yes, that's what I said, right. celebrate every living breath as if this is your last breath. And recognize your present moment, this present moment, it will be your future, and was, will be, and your past. So really acknowledging the present moment. Well, you know, we yeah. talked about this a lot. I mean, like all the spiritual path is yes. like to be here now, mm -hmm. to be in the moment, to, you know, to erase, you know, just to, and that's what all the practices you know, throughout I, history have yes, been about. Yes, in, in the most of the time, I say, you know, Grandmaster tell me, you know, could you tell me about the past life? What is, you know, I say, I'd be glad to answer that to you, but why don't you worry personal life right. first? <laughs> You're right here, right? <laughs> right. You're, You're right. Right. How is that going right. to happen? Right. Rather than you worry about it, what was it like on my past and in the future? If, because I believe if we can manage, I believe if we can, we can just harmony present life we were done all our homework. Exactly. And automatically, we'll be connected to, it's like a bridge to heaven and earth, you know, right. you'll be connected to your future and tomorrow, and definitely. Well, you'll just be, be in, in this like, moment, in this moment, yes. and you know, and then yes. you'll be like a force of nature rather yes. than a concept yes. of what a person uh -huh. would be. Yeah.
<laughs> that's that's my first element. Books with Laura. Right, and and so in your book and your video, we'll show part mm -hmm. of that later. There are like the twelve elements. Right? Yes, yes. And then you the twelve gates. Yes. Right. Uh huh. And so why don't you describe a few of those? I mean, I guess you already have, but you know, like take people through that a little bit. Well, you know, the uh, first gate it is actually just connecting. It's to be the, like I say, right hands your body, left hands your mind. If everybody know that, whenever they clap the hands, they do, or they know I am joining together. Consciousness decision, they will be great. So first gate when you do is really con removing all your negativity, all your challenge you have, remove it. Then it exchanges. And it's, a, it's, it's a, also a, it's a physical movement. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, right. physical move. That's like, for example, like a gate five. If we do, we bring up the, all the physical move. Then make a commitment, conscious decision. You make and go to the heaven. Then you bring up the really connecting with the God, and then we really bring the present time and in your heart, and really acknowledging, you know, the the energy is there, and you're really letting go. So this is an, each gate is really symbolic of involvement to you join your body and mind and spirit, and really how you manage that one. And uh, rather than you become the, is taking charge over you, and you taking charge. Don't let your experiences. So most case, people say, "Well, you know, when I was growing up, I was abused by you know family and da da da." da. You so can that's talk right. Most of them. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, you know, basically, I'm saying that you know what. I am so sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry it happened to me too. But I tell you one thing: when you are a child, you are not have a control of it. There's so many ways do. now. But now you do. So stop. Wasting your time going back there, right. really acknowledging right here. So if you know how wow. to take a bus, go. yeah. If go you know girl. how to take a bus, if you know how to use making phone call, if you know how to turn the computer, even whatever you do, and now is the time for your life. You have to take charge. And I really saying that because we are so much wasting our time blaming everybody else. And I guess my experience is that I really don't have a time to blaming. You know, all I say, okay, There's too much you know, stuff it, to it do. is absolutely. You know, <laughs> anybody who challenges me, you know what, Alan? I say, thank you for motivating me. That's what I say in my heart. Thank you for energizing me. I say, you charge my battery. You give me some to do so I can work on it. And I can move forward. <laughs> That's why I always say, I really want to tell the all of this. Uh, audience to really tell them, you know, you have to stop blaming yourself now. And, and everyone stuff. else, right? Yeah, everyone right. else. Now it is you are the ownership. You have to take charge. I think that's uh, everybody says, well, how can I, you do that? I mean, I'm still suffering. And exactly. You know, who does the suffering? Come on, Alan. If right. anybody who don't want to have a suffering in life, right. you're in the wrong planet. Right. <laughs> you might be, but you're, you're, you're not in a human body if you don't know suffering. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You know right. what, what I learned? Through my suffering experience, that my life itself is a great teacher for me, and I'm a great How, student. It can't be anyone. Yes, it can't be all I really one. like to say I'm a great student, and I'm a student. And student. Yes, and that really that suffering and the pain. This is what I say. Rejoice in the lesson of the pain and hurt. It gives you strength and it gives you freedom. So, but but. Yeah. How do you teach people to like? You have to rise above it yes. a little bit, yes. you know, to see it uh -huh. as as pain and suffering rather yeah. than I'm hurting. Yeah, you know what? So uh, very how? simple. Go. This is very simple. It is a choice. You know, we are suffering. It's a choice. I know I don't like to suffer. Believe me, I cry too. Yeah. I cry daily sometimes. But we have to make that choice, and that's what it's, I want to say. It feels better to be happy. Right. You have to make that choice. You can become a victim. Or you can become a survivor and rise above. The two choices. There's no gray. You have to make a choice. So then you desire. You have to be wanted. You can say yes. I think I want. Oh yeah. You know. I probably. Everybody else think I should. No. It's got to come Don't from your inner. In, in yeah, your heart. Yes. Your it heart. has to come from your ownership and lover. That's what the. See, person. but your tools help open that because at some point, you know, you have to be at a point where, in other words, like if to make a choice, you have to be so you could see both ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're so far under it. Yes. I so, and your your techniques and tools bring people to that point where they can make the you choice. You know, you know, Alan, I have to tell you, I work with the CEO company, huge computer company. I work with the actor, actress, producer. You know. Just all kind of people. I mean, of course, this is very private between myself and them. And the 45 million people out <laughs> yes, there. Yes. Are. But so I, we won't tell anybody. Yes. <laughs> but I tell you one thing, though. It's so important that you must know 
exactly precisely. You know why? You see, there's like a times the 14 with the 75, uh, the whatever that time, people say Columbus discovered or is run. You know what I say, Grandmaster take him say, Columbus did not discover Earth is round. He uncovered Earth is round. You know why? Because the Earth was always round. Yeah, they, yeah, right. What's the change? Right. People perspective right, change. Right. So what I want to tell those people, you must learn to change your perspective view. You know, there's a time, you know, 1875, 1879, the time, Thomas Edison invented incredible power of a power, electricity. You know what? He didn't make that happen. One day, he failed. He made a mistake. But what he did, he didn't give up. Right, persevered. Yes, I right. think that's so right. important. Number one, you have to make a choice. You want to willingly, you have to bring your willpower. Number two, you have to say that, no, is that for what you want? No matter what anybody say, don't let them influence you. My mother tell me I'm a bad lad. My father tell me this word. You know what? I said to myself, I'm a good person. Right. They can't convince me I'm a bad luck. Right. And I said to myself, well, you have to marry. You know what? I don't have to marry. Well, why did I have to do that? Everybody else did it. I said, no, I don't want to be everybody. I want to be me. I think it's so important that knowing that your strength and your beauty, and you got to have a determination. You know, like the what? You have to have a highest level of determination. You know what the people say? So tell me, how did I create a determination? You know what my answer is? You never believe in this one. I say, you go to shopping? I say, yeah. You go to shopping mall? I say, yeah. Did you ever, ever face a sometime out of nowhere, all of a sudden you have to go to the bathroom so badly? I say, yeah. I say, you have to bring your body, mind, and spirit all together. Believe me. So when you find that you want to go to the bathroom, 70% you know, discount is 60%. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No. Because you them. must right. go where you want to go. That's what I'm saying. That much you have to be really focused like a laser beam. You have to know exactly your direction. Don't let those 60% in the get you. But as people go, they say, excuse me, where is the bathroom? Right. So we'll go to the right, go to the left, or go to the left direction. Yeah, and, obstacles and, won't stand in yeah, the way. Yeah, it won't stand. And you right. just go. Yeah, and I use the find... example of people need to get to a dialysis machine. Yes. You know, I mean, if their kidneys aren't working, <laughs> yes, they'll really, find them. Yes. They won't be so stopped by all the things that yes, stop right. them in getting to the dojo or, you know, <laughs> yes. all the reasons yes, we give exactly. that we can't do See, something. See, what happened, we give so many to the uh, options. When we have in our daily life, we make it so many options, option one, two, and three, and four. That's why we're so confused. We must really direct our energy like a laser beam. Right. We're going to show, I think, in a little while, that one of the uh, the uh, key gates, rhythm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the key rhythms. Yes. From, okay. This is from uh, 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 Taeyun's uh, a video. Yes. Uh, so why don't you describe it? It's, okay. it's the sitting sure. one, mm -hmm. and sure. yeah, describe that one. What? Right, we're gonna see the. We're gonna see the one uh, in front of the waterfall. Yeah, the one that we've shown before. Well, here's actually this one. It is called what do you call uh, the Tongshin uh, Tongil that is mean bring your body, mind, and spirit as one together. And all the elements you see, like our flesh is part of a belong to earth element. Then it's the human body. We have the most incredible percentage over eighty percent. We have a power of water, right. and they have it. So water it is the through your wee wee life, you know, tears and all that. This river is flowing. Then it's the next element that we have a fire. If you rub your hand. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, rub your hand as fast as you can. You can burn yourself, actually, third degree doing that one. Yeah, I'm pretty and, hot. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. the same thing, we have the fire, uh, the, the element of a fire we have. Next one, of course, uh, the element of air. The air is associated with our breath. And our breath will change all the time, depending on what the level of emotional level we are in. We stress, anxiety, and depressed, angry, upset, our breath changing. So this is what an element is. Okay, now this is like okay. a, a meditation or, yes. a, uh, uh -huh. or a visualization. Really gathering yeah. all your elements okay. together, yeah. All right, so yeah, let's just see that. It's, it's a beautiful video.
is about all the obstacles. You open your third eye, connect with the universe eye. Your commitment rides about to heaven. Take charge. Take action. You come to connect with Mother Earth, ready to receive. Ready to give. We also face a lot of obstacles and challenges, but you have the power to rise above, like a sun rise above the clouds. So you can radiate. Here you face. Suffering from pain, you have power to celebrate the joy. Here you must bring balance. Join your heart with the commitment, ready to open the gate of heaven. Shout! Celebrate! Yes, you bring your body, mind, spirit. Total connection to your heart. Once again, acknowledging. Warrior spirit, shooting out, sending out everywhere. Yes, with the total confidence, you are acknowledging who you are. Again, you acknowledge where you are, this moment, this life. You have a freedom to go heaven and earth. Open your rainbow wings. You're ready to touch the thread of joy. Peaceful, 
for fear, embrace the light. Video. <laughs> Thank you. So you were, you were telling the story while we were watching it mm -hmm. about that, you know, almost the camera people couldn't shoot it because, I mean, I guess a lot of people in the audience had that same sense. Yes. I mean, when I was watching it the first time, that's why I picked it. It was like, <laughs> it was like all you could see is light. Yes. You know, yes. I mean, your physical body kind of like faded yes, away. Absolutely. And so yeah. you were saying that that's yes, where that's you actually, actually shot it. Yes, that's actually when we were filming this one, there's a lot of camera people, they couldn't really continue filming because my body is a disappeared. I was generating so much that it, you know, power and beauty and whatever, and I guess uh, the, the Westerner, they call aura, you know, whatever it is, just coming out of it. I said, wow, that's, where is she? <laughs> we can film her. So we have to kind of do it. a lot of energy we did it, yeah. Right. So very powerful. This key rhythm, all the, um, what I put together from very thousand, thousand years old, pat the pat pattern it has been passed on. Then what I did, I put in a combine for useful for modern people, you know, mm -hmm. so you can just, uh, everyday practice you know just like once and twice it would be amazing how much you're getting benefit everybody just love it and you have so, right now one of the biggest centers it's in, in the san in the, jose yes, area the silicon valley yes right and mm -hmm. and so you deal with people who are like pretty stressed out with all the I, ipos yeah. And all the... I got, yeah i got a people come flying from the you know, europe's and in and the southeast asia all over they come to have a personal consultation sometimes we have a you know like a five days, one week, 10 days, one month. They set a schedule and we're just going over. Because what I learned, it doesn't matter how successful they are, how much money they have, whatever. There's something about always that it hidden agenda and they don't want it to, to share with the people. So they come, grandma, so she helped me out this one. Then I said, sure, you know, let's work together. Yeah, because ultimately those mm -hmm. things don't make you happy. No, no, no. So, See, I mean, you got to have that inner connection. Everybody thinking that, you know, their ultimate successful life is that, you know, when you have a money, fame, and that's, that is and truth. I claim myself I'm a most successful person in a planet, in a woman's place. I said, this, they challenge me. You know, let me tell you why I am saying that one because I'm embracing my fear, my pain, and joy and happiness. I embrace all of them, part of my body. I don't separate them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because sure. I acknowledge my pain and hurt because they give me the strength to give to me where I am. So because that, I will not envy it. I will not say, oh, I wish I am them or her, because I am very happy where I am. Even mm -hmm. I'm only top for the level. <laughs> and one thing I see, you know, I wish I'm talking but in true sense that I'm content in who I am. I will not let, give my license to you, so you to, you know, taking away from my joy and also the, making me miserable. Many people say, if I only have a man or relationship, then I'm not okay and happy. Mm -hmm. I only have a, this car and a home, because that's the wrong attitude. You can, you know, then once you have that, that was that, you know, you're not happy with that. So I truly believe a real happiness has come from within you and heart, a connection of a God. Well, I think throughout history, that's when all the masters have come and yes. said, you know, seek the kingdom of heaven within. And, yes, and we all have right. it, yes, and we're all we from yeah. that one thing. Mm -hmm. I think we have to recognize that uh, the each of us are so unique, and the goddess is really sent to this planet for some purpose and reason. And you might not know right away that doesn't mean you are not connected to God. And it is okay you do not know right away. But I say important is that you have to give opportunity giving yourself that door be open, not to close it in. And then once the door open, a lot of things can happen. Once the door is closed, you know, nothing can happen to you. So I think that having that attitude, have a right attitude, right mind and a right view and what you're looking at, I think that's the most important. And also another thing what I learned that most cases they want to be so perfect and they don't want to make a mistake. And that's really odd to me, Alan, right. because you really want to be perfect 
You have to make a mistake. You I have to make right. yes. And, and we're in physical bodies. Perfection yes, doesn't absolutely. exist yes. that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. Yes. That's not where perfection right. exists. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I mean, to look for it is already you're going to be looking at yes, trouble. Yes. Yeah. You know? Now we, I said, learn from mistake. Let the mistake it become your feedback system to your journey, and and that's what my actually other book, Seven Steps in a Power, and I saying that it's like put your body, mind, and spirit always as one, and acknowledge your strength and your weakness, the truth. And be purified of your body, mind, and spirit. And basically, what I'm saying, you know, when you're taking bath, you're taking shower. Some people they want to contain that water and taking bath next time. No, you can't do that. In other words, so you have to learn to let it go. And what do you have experience? You have you have to be ready for next. It's time. part of you, and then yes, you're, yes. you're moving on. And then ever I say, no, you have to learn to love. Who you are and what you are, and you don't want to say, you know, like I hate myself. Then I say, Alan, how come you don't love me? You can say that right. when you're saying to right. yourself, I hate myself. So is I fear it's very important to learn to love and who I am and what I am, and be loyal to the, your goal and a purpose. So that means so many pe people making New Year's resolution. Say, this year I'm gonna do it, right? Then in the seven days later, what was that? My goal was all about seven days. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, a really <laughs> dedicated bunch around here. It's, yeah, like some people maybe next the, day. The football game isn't even over yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, these people say, you know, then how can do you expect that harvest in your life? Or you didn't even know what you planted. Right. You well, didn't, it's, you know. it's 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 just. I mean, we have to build up momentum where we have the yes. capacity to do mm -hmm. that. Yes. I mean, you know, first you 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 want it, and then. To build up the muscle, absolutely, you know, you know, yes. And that's what all the the different techniques, and that's what your you know gates, are, you know, I mean, all yes, the everything. that's what you're about. Yeah, you know is. what is amazing is what I learned, Alan. When I came to America first time, when I talk about meditation, you know, what the people used to say, don't meditate, you're gonna lose your mind. Right. You know, right. people would say absolute meditation was like a no good, right. no no. But today, it's so many people is awakening, and mm -hmm. they become really enlightened in their lives. They say, wow, meditation, I want to meditate. You know, I want to find something within my heart they talk about more spiritual being it's like eating an ice cream you know used to be that's like a you know right. forbidden expression right. you can't do that right. But it's just, that's just so beauty about it. Now I said, I feel like finally I got this in you know, the water as fish, just find the water, so I'm like a serving on it. And I feel really great. So I really want the people to know that I made it. And I come from very poor country, you know, South Korea, right at the war. It's nothing there in, a, in Portugal. It's a, so strict, you know, right. just only one way, but I broke through that. That means I really know that God is to send me here to become a living example. Right. And, if and really, if you can do it, there's no reason oh, anybody else can. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, right. You and know what? I even really I say that he can do, she can do, why not me? And right. that's how I say it. it's a personal choice. I think that, you know, um, when I go through the, believe me, nothing is like always sweet, Sweet, sweet. That's not. You're gonna have some painful experience, and like my position, and many people prejudice and the jealousy. Even now, I face Absolutely. that one. Even Absolutely. now, more than anybody, you know, because being an Asian, because being in a martial artist, because being in a you know woman, so many ways. But what I do, the difference in my attitude. Whenever people will say I smiling myself in my heart, I say thank you for energizing me. Right. Thank you for motivating me. <laughs> That's what I do. Yes, yes. And, and you find that that the movement of that inner awareness and inner empowerment is really picking up because I see that. I mean, as our show goes along. Oh my out. goodness! Yes, absolutely. Uh, even my my show is going on. People say, God, I really loved watching you. You're really inspiring me. You know, I was just thinking about taking my life away, and it's just excellent and turn when you watching you. You changing my life. You know. Please just make it some more like that way. And it's going just, all over the world. All over the world. It's yeah, we were incredible. talking earlier about all. Are, you, are your shows on the internet now? It's going to going be to very soon. Yeah, we were talking. We have right 16 now. on it. It's, you know, the yes. bandwidth is not Yes, enough. yes. But that way, I mean, if somebody wanted in a year from now or so. Well, now, you if know. If somebody wants to watch this show 24 hours 24 a day, hours, seven, yes, you know, instead yes. of us sending a right. tape or, you yes, know, you I send. I know. They can just kind of click, right, click, click. And then yeah. there you'll be. And, and it'll be where it'll be on a television Absolutely, set. Absolutely, yes. So. I was saying that I want to be the first person to the internet and be kind of heading, you know, better than Oprah Winfrey. I'm saying that. Right. Like, why not? You know, I mean, why not? You know, who's going to but we have 16 me. shows yeah. on. She might have to be the first woman host. Okay, first woman host. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what 
No, we're all in play. We're just let's you did a great job. That's good. And that you know, and that's really what it's about. Is like all you know. We were talking earlier with your 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 associate Erica about you know how did you start out? You started out the same way we did it. About all the stuff on TV is crap and unempowering and uninspiring and. It's just, it's just like, you know, yeah. you know, environment is influence people. Environment characterizes people. And you know that, right? No matter how much you really want it, when the environment, some friends say, come on, you can smoke, come on, do right. this, do that. Or when you whatever you watch, people just kind of sweat in. And I watch all this television, this is like, I can't believe it. Right. It's, it's unbelievable. It's I said, unbelievable. Okay, well, I'm not going to complain exactly about it. I'm going to do something about it, this one. Right. So that's where we started. And, uh, you know, we start like, you know, 20,000, you know, the viewers, right, and then do. in 100,000. Right. And then it's right now it's over 30 million, yeah. 40 million, whatever it is. It's you know, amazing. it's just a lot amazing. You know, I tell you, the amazing part is is that the show's getting over. <laughs> so if anybody wants any information on Taeyoon, uh, her workshops, her classes, anything that's going on, 805-687-2053. Good night. God bless you. And God bless you. Thank you.